In front of me, I have this bowl of lentils. And now, what comes to mind when you look at a bowl of lentils? For many of us, it's just lentils, right? But actually, lentils bear some symbolism. Many people think that they bring luck in the new year because they're shaped like little coins. And now, every country and every culture has their own lucky food type of ritual for the new year. So here in Hungary, it's all about the lentils, but it's also about the pork. Since pigs like to dig with their snout, this is supposed to symbolize this forward-looking approach. So for Hungarians, you have to combine the two, lentils, and pork. So today I want to show you my lentil soup with crispy pork sausage served as a garnish. So I think that we'll be covered in every which way for the new year. We'll have good luck, we'll have wealth, and we'll have lots of good things to look forward to and hopefully it'll become a very prosperous new year. So let's get started on this lentil soup recipe. I think even if it doesn't bring you good luck, you'll still enjoy a wonderful bowl of this comforting wintery soup. So for my lentil soup, I like to add a lot of vegetables to it. So I have some onion and garlic as the base, but then I also have carrots and celery. And then I also have a can of diced tomatoes, which I think adds this richness and sweetness to it. And for my seasoning, I have a teaspoon of thyme and I have a bay leaf. I have my lentils here, a pound of lentils, and I've rinsed them very, very well. So they've also absorbed a little bit of that water from the rinsing, and that's good because that means they'll cook up a little bit faster. So to start the recipe, I'm gonna add a little oil to the bottom of this pot and I'm going to start sauteing my onion. And as always I like to add a large pinch of salt to my onions because it helps them break down faster. And I'm gonna add my garlic. And for the garlic, you only need it to maybe saute it for about one minute. And now I'm gonna add the carrots. And I'm also gonna add the celery. I'm going to reduce the heat by one notch because I want the carrots and the celery to cook a little bit, maybe about 10 to 15 minutes, because I want them to get really nice and brown. This will really help bring out the sweet flavor in the carrots. So now my vegetables are nice and brown and they're getting soft. So I'm going to add my tomatoes. And I'm going to add my thyme and my bay leaf. And I'm going to cook down the tomatoes just until they're almost kind of jammy because I want to cook out that tin flavor that comes with these uh, canned vegetables. So you want your tomatoes just like this, and then you're ready to add the lentils. And I've got my pound of rinsed lentils. Okay, and now I'm gonna start adding my water. You can also do this with stock, whatever you like. So now I've added all the water and I want to bring it up to a boil. So to do that a little bit faster, I'm going to cover it with a lid. I put it on the highest setting and I'm going to let this come up to a boil. Then I'll reduce it to a simmer and I'll let it cook for between 35 and 45 minutes. So the timing really depends on how you like your lentils. If you want them to be softer or if you want them to have a little bit of a chew. I like my lentils really soft. I even puree a portion of the soup because I really like it to be more of like a, almost like a stew. Okay, so my lentil soup has been cooking for about 45 minutes. The lentils have gotten nice and soft, 
And now this is the point where I like to salt my lentil soup because if you salt lentils too early in the cooking process, they tend to get hard. And that's true with all legumes. So the bay leaf has decided to rear its head, which is good because this way I won't forget that I need to remove him because we don't want to puree the bay leaf. And here I'm going to salt very liberally. So I've got this little wooden shovel here. I'm going to do a couple of these. And I'm going to give it a stir. And I'm going to give it a little taste just to check on the salt level. Mm. A teensy bit more. And I really like my lentil soup kind of thick and almost porridge-like. So what I like to do is I'll puree like a third of it. I don't have a blender, so I'm just gonna use my stick blender for this, so, and that makes it really easy because I don't have to actually spoon it out into anything. But I'm gonna to wanna to stand back because I do not wanna get covered in lentil soup. I'm gonna shut the heat off on it. And here we go. Okay. So as you can see, the color is changing now too. It's not so red as it was before. It's a little bit more brown. I'm gonna give it just one more little whiz. And I'm gonna push this in the back. And here on the side, I have my frying pan preheating. And this is for the Hungarian sausage that I'm going to add. I have this beautiful Dulai sausage. This is a really delicious paprika-laden sausage that's very popular here in Hungary. And I wanna garnish my lentil soup with this. So I'm just gonna add some slices to this already hot pan. And we're just going to toast them until they get a little crispy. And these are beautifully crispy, so I'm gonna pour them out onto this plate and then I'll go ahead and sear the second batch. Look at how beautiful and lacy that looks. You've got all this beautiful paprika oil in here. I want to collect that together because I'm going to drizzle that onto the soup. And now I like to serve this in a shallow bowl like this. Okay. And I'm going to drizzle some of this oil into the soup. I'm going to add these crispy sausage slices to the top. And here's our beautiful New Year's lentil soup with crispy sausage slices. So this soup is, it's a very hearty soup, I have to say. It isn't the most photogenic soup out there, but it's one of my favorites every year because this is really part of my culture, my Hungarian background. So for me, I just love it. And you could see the paprika colored fat or oil floating on the top of the soup and I love that because that's just full of flavor. So, okay, here goes. Mm. It's so nice. You have this interplay of the, the vegetables and the rich yulai sausage. It's really, really satisfying. Mm. And mind you, this is a bowl of lentils, which is symbolic of prosperity. So I would like to think that if I eat this entire bowl, then I'll have good luck for the entirety of 2024. But I'll report back a year later. So we'll see. <laughs> if you're looking for maybe a new tradition to add to your New Year table, why not try this lentil soup? with crispy sausage slices. I think it's a really hearty and a very comforting soup to have, especially in January. It's also really simple to put together and very soul satisfying. Whether you believe in this type of luck thing or not, I would give it a try because who knows, you never know. So let me know what you think about this lucky new year recipe, which you can find linked in the description below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you again for watching.